morning. Welcome morning. to our move to France. Uh, we're just going to go off to... I don't even know what area we're going to. Some Hawthorne. rubbish near Hawthorne. Yeah, we're going to do a quote for work. And then... Um, we're going to pick up some lagging. <coughs> so I will film us under the caravan um lagging the caravan pipes because apparently we're in for another cold spell Ooh, let's get that let's get that down put your seat belt on yeah we're in for another cold spell so basically what we're gonna do is going into the minuses too oh, we can't be having any more frozen pipes so minus yeah tonight minus tomorrow minus so yeah we need to get this uh lag in this afternoon and get under the vans and get that sorted that's our jobs for today well, um unfortunately the couple that uh held the big maison have she doesn't want me to release the video people <laughs> no. I did a video, <laughs> and the kids and Tony thought it was really funny because I completely really. lost it. She did, she lost the plot. Um, I did lose Twice. the plot. So I, I deleted the first one. Yeah. The second one, I still think is too bad. So what I'm going to do is just give you a quick update. They are, they've sold their van, which goes Saturday. The weather's been too horrendous um, to... Um, hook trailers on or fill up a van that just sink into the ground because it's been really wet um so he only gave us a time slot of this morning to go to the dechettery with his van we can't do that because obviously we're working and this afternoon he's not available so um yeah and his van goes saturday morning so unfortunately oh yeah but the a bit of string on unfortunately they're not going to um help us help us i'm not going to say anymore <laughs> no. My lips are... oh. uh no so um that's that so what i will do is look at ourselves like no else. i know we'll do it ourselves like we we have done with, with everything we've never asked for nothing from anybody but what what we'll do is um, I'll just do it very, very slowly after Christmas once the weather's dry. My main concern was the trailer because I'm absolutely useless. At, I can pull it, the trailer in a straight line behind the van, but I can't reverse. And that's exactly what they want you to do in the dechettery. So what I'll do is just to get some cones when the ground's dry yep, and just next year and just try and uh, practice. So, yeah, because I didn't really want to empty the trailers full up with all uh, greenery. I didn't really want to empty it, put it in the van. It just, what's that? Leaf off. Leaf off? Um, I didn't really want to empty the trailer because it's full up with uh, all the greenery. Uh, to then put it all in the van. It's just, just as Tony calls it, double balling what you call it isn't it Tone? What? Double balling. You do a job. I'm saying that if, oh, yeah, sure, fine, right? if we um, take it all out of the trailer and put it in the back of the van it, it's going to it's going to take so many runs as well. So I'll just have to get to grips with um, being able to reverse and manoeuvre the trailer. Well, no I said the ground's the right, a little bit D wet. But yeah, it's, it's it's not a problem. I mean, we're used to um, doing everything ourselves. It's not like I'm expecting no, somebody to uh, do... Well, we're not expecting anybody to do anything for us. Oh, my God, look how foggy it is. Um, it was just, I thought, as a sort of repayment for all the upheaval we had, I thought it would have been like a nice gesture, but, um, okay. yeah. Anything would have been a nice gesture. Yeah. Thank you would have been a nice gesture. Yeah, I mean, uh, the electricity bill, our fuel, and the fact that our land has been um, 
absolutely caned with um, van tyres. Not even the people that turned up to the no, mid no, uh, no, didn't, didn't cause any problems. Any problems. It was, um, yeah. and the amount of dog poo as well that I had to clear up where people brought their dogs. Not that that's an issue. I love animals. However, if I take my dog anywhere, I have dog poo bags. I clear it up and I take the poo bag with me. Unfortunately, um, that didn't happen. Yeah. So. Um, and the problem is. You know, people sit there and think it's it's easy to collect dog poo. But you try collecting dog poo on the ground covered in leaves. I know. And you can't find it for the, for the love of yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, we'll walk past a bit of poo. We'll go, we'll pick that up on the way back because we haven't got a bag with us or whatever. And it just disappears. That's in our own land. I might hasten to add. Uh, on our own land, yeah. Um, it's all our own land. Yeah, that, I just find that a little bit rude. You know, you take your dog out. And you just let it poo around other people's property. But that's my take on it. I don't know what other people think of it. Yeah, so we had dog poo to clear up. The ground's absolutely mullered. Maybe what we should have done, we should have done is... Uh, we have electric uh, bill as well to obviously pay for for the house that we've not actually even been in ourselves. And then um, the ground to sort out in the summer, which I'm going to have to go and rake, probably get some soil. Um, because there's massive divots um, where his van tyres have gone in. Um, yeah, and I just think all of that, and not even a thank you. So, um, not even a box of cheap, crappy biscuits for the children. So, yeah, we will crack on after Christmas. So, now we're going to just basically sort out the lagging. And if anybody thinks, why didn't we just sit up in the... Uh in the caravan rather than going down there standing in the cold. Well, I've got a lot of stuff in that house and I've got a lot of strangers walking around my house, so obviously I want to make sure they don't touch my stuff. Well, it's not only that. When I did go down there, people were wandering up upstairs. Yeah, I know, we had, we had people wandering around upstairs, but what, what I explained before is we have really, really tiny wardrobes in the caravan. So all, the, um, all our clothes are on clove rails which I think we've done a video of. So, of course, if people are walking round, they might think that these clothes are for so, sale. Yeah. Along with anything I'd else. be very privileged to the fact that they'd want to even buy some of my stuff. But... Yeah. Um, some of the stuff's brand new, it's never been worn. Yeah, so... And bearing in mind that most clothes in France are very expensive. I mean, even, yeah. even you know, look, the type of stuff you get from Primark or you pay... One ninety nine or two ninety nine for a t shirt. You're going to pay at least nine ninety nine for a cheap t shirt. Yeah. So we we well, it's our house, and we want to see what's going on. There's people walking around in the house with dogs. You know, I'd like to know if the dog's cocked its leg up a bit of a, a doorway, because equally, when our dogs do go in there, they'll smell the scent, and then we'll have an uh, we'll have a whole bloody array of dog piss everywhere. Excuse my French. <laughs> not um, as bad as the other video. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I'm so gonna, I'm going to upload it. So no. I'm not joking. My face was all contorted. Yeah. I looked like I was about to burst because oh, I just literally videoed um, when we was told we've sold the van <laughs> and um, the only day we're going to be able to give you is whatever a day it was early in the morning. Half, half, past half past eight. On a Friday morning where yeah. we've obviously got school runs to the children actually start school at half past eight they have to they walk into the we gut. don't get back half from the school eight. until nine equally he was only going to drive the van so it still would need to both of us there to unload the stuff and load, and load it so i'm not going to go on about it because it'll just start me off again yeah, okay. but all i'm saying is is a little bit of gratitude with us goes an awful long way because we do We'll do anything for anybody. Just even a thank you. Yep. Thank you so you much. Go on about it. Yeah, I won't go on about I'll it. On. Right. We'll film later on with our um, pipes. Yep. That's um, exciting. I don't think it will be no, exciting, it exciting, but it's something different, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Over and out. Hello, hello. <laughs> Just finished our quote. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're heading to. Brooker, oh, something. Sure.
Um, to go and pick up some luggage, it's really cold out, so as soon as we pick that up, we'll go back and we will um, put that on. Oh gosh! the same idiot that borrowed our house so you put his crap in it. glasses on to not give my eyes too much strain um, so yeah yesterday and today eye socket uh, hurting yeah. and I wouldn't even mind but it wasn't really caused for anything that benefited us no. now where we live is classed as more farming um, and hawk the end is more you can tell the difference from yeah. going from um, from the cruise to hawk the yeah. end it's totally different fresh got a lot flatter we've yet to explore um, France I mean we've got a lot going on but um, it would be nice It, Tony. It'd be very nice. I want to go to that, that beach that's got palm trees and stuff. That sounds lovely. I can't remember what it's called, but it sounds lovely. Now I think this, this road, and there's a roundabout, um, one of our friends, her son is, was, is a retired police officer now. And he warned us when we go down this road and this particular roundabout at the top to be very careful in the car. It's renowned for uh, a lot of lorries going up and down it and a lot of accidents. Because <clears throat> apparently used to be deployed here quite a few uh, times digging with accidents. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Obviously this stretch of the road takes the lorries it's always filled with lorries every time I've been down here, isn't it? Yeah, that's the end of the road. It's a motorway and then turns into this. I can't wait to get 
get cracking on the house now. I think um, once we get Christmas out of the way, uh, we can start. What? We can get laughing. Christmas out of the way, and then we've got to go and cut down the bushes and stuff. Uh, we've got for the trees to be done. We've got a lot of work to and do. Then we can go into the house. Probably won't get in the house till February. Thing is, every time we set something aside, something crops up. We went to see the Marie yesterday to drop it off. A um, bottle of drink. Bottle of drink and some chocolates. Wished him uh, Bon Noël. Bon Noël. And, and his secretary. Yeah. Uh, and that was because um, we need a statement from him in regards to the dangerous trees that are on our land. Um, we need a statement basically stating that he told the previous owner that them trees need to be dealt with urgently. And did you explain that. to on uh, yeah. one of the YouTube yeah. channels? Um, and that the gendarmes also explained to him that... Uh, That's the police. Uh, yeah, the police. Um, that it needs to be done. Or it needs to be done urgently because they're dangerous. And then once we've got that, and I've got the quote now for the trees. So we're initially going to pay for the trees to be cut because Not obviously good. they are dangerous and one had already fallen in the road when the previous owner owned the property. Melted. And as Tony said, he was told by the Marie and the police that them trees need to be cut because they're very, very dangerous. So we will have to pay first and then try and claw back the money from him. I don't know how easy that's going to be or if we're even going to be able to do it. But um, we'll have a go. But for um, the trees to be done, we need to cut around the trees so when they fall, they, fall they correctly. get them to fall correctly. Otherwise, they're going to be in our house or someone else's, someone house. else's house. We don't want that, obviously. This is the roundabout. No, it's not. It's the one with Fritz Lawrence. Oh, so. the next one. I've got a little tip for anybody that comes to France or moves to France or even lives in France now that thinks about going and get some glasses done. Um, make sure your first pair of glasses are as cheap as you can get them because you get a second pair for a euro and you've got everything you possibly want to put on there for one euro. There's a little tip there for you. Yeah, but that might only be on, um, you don't know, it might be because... Well, no, when I was talking to that idiot the other day, he reckoned that was, that was the <laughs> Not to say that, either, but we went to Optic 2000. They're very lovely in there. That's the deal that they, was, they had. Yeah, but Tone, what I'm trying to explain, don't mm. don't uh, listen to what that other idiot told you. I'm not, I'm just sitting there But it might be, if you buy, if you spend a certain amount on money on frames, you might be able to get your second pair for a euro, so don't... No, no she didn't say, I could go in there now and get the most expensive frames as I want. I could have sunglasses if I want sunglasses, or I could have... Okay, sunglasses. well I'll ask her. When we go back in there to get your one euro pair of glasses, I'm going to say, is this deal for any pair of glasses or frames or do you have to spend a certain amount um, to get this offer and let's see what she says she's a reckon, really lovely I, I lady who spoke English I reckon it's because in France the law is you're supposed to have two sets of glasses with you all times when driving so you should have a set in the car and set on your face so I reckon because of that like all the opticians offer a second set of glasses for a euro because otherwise people just buy one pair no. Well, maybe that is the case. Maybe that's the uh, the deal because they know by law you've got to have them. Mm. So I reckon probably most opticians do. They Look how foggy it is outside. You're boring me now, Tony. I'm well, just helping the people out of home. Like when we used to do the videos of opening bank accounts and, and this, that, and the other. You know. So we go back. I think either next week or the week after for Tony's one euro Shit. pair of glasses. <laughs> And I tell you this now, if he has to stand in front of that mirror, we'll I, I am I am filming this. Oh, it's like someone had won a prize in a machine. The whole shop stopped and it, it just was flashing and singing and rotating round. I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> That's funny. Even after even the woman 
And the kids missed it all. That would have been there. Henry said it. Did he? Yeah, Henry said it. The other oh. two have seen it. Can't, see, the other two have got better sense of humour. As they would have actually laughed along with me. Henry was laughing because when I turned around with these these uh, crash dummy glass things on, slightly. I'll tell you what, I have struggled with. Like in the UK, I used to do Christmas Eve boxes. Nothing major. Just used to go to B and M and pop some little bits in their boxes. I know, like a cup with a little thing of hot chocolate and marshmallow. I can't find any, like, cheapy bits to put in a Christmas Eve box. I don't want to spend a fortune, but and just... The reason you can't find any cheapy bits is because they have everything. Our children have everything. They don't. They do. What don't they have? You tell me. problem with uh, shop shutting. Yeah, what was the sign? Yeah. What do I want to go to the supermarket? I'm not. I don't mind going to the clerk. I'm not going to Carrefour. And why are we I going? I see if half now. Okay. Because it's boring. Me and Tony actually went round the twist the other day because we pulled up. We said we were going to Leclerc <laughs> and we got out and we started shopping around and then we went, this is funny because this looks like... Oh, looks like Carrefour. And it was Carrefour. Yeah. But actually just... I had to look at the the, uh, the symbol on the, uh, the bread and stuff to work out what shop I was in. I was actually in Carrefour. Going around the twist I am. Sam bought some beer yesterday in Not for myself, not for I myself, don't drink for beer. Well, well. For, to do like a tester. Oh my god. Well I just thought if we got a couple of different cans of beer rather than Tony just stick to the same like broaden his horizons a bit, you know, this is a they love their drink out in France. So we bought well I picked up four five, five. five different cans of beer. So I thought it'd be nice for him to try. So he did a little taster. He put them all in a glass can behind it and then had to rate it. But some of the beer went up to... 11.7. 11.7. Which, as yeah. I said to Sam, they're, they're pint, glass, pint, pint cans, 500 ml. I'm pretty sure a bottle of wine is 75 CLs. Uh, 750 ml. Uh, and the alcohol content in the bottle of wine is about 11. A lot of wines. So effectively, you're almost drinking a bottle of wine or three quarters of a bottle. Anyway, of wine. the uh, outcome of it, it was Tony didn't like any of them. No, two of them were alright. But they tended to be the lower alcohol ones. This is the clerk, which is the, I think. This is the cheapest supermarket. Yeah, so I this suppose is like if. Your it, Tesco's. No, I wouldn't say it was like Tesco. So this was your Asda. Your Asda. Okay. probably your Tesco. And then you've still got your Audi and Lidl. There's nothing. You've got Audi and Lidl, but then what's your Waitrose then? And your Marks and Sparks. What's into Marks? Right, started lagging the pipes. Um, slightly different to what we get, what we got in the UK. You've got that, but then you've got this tape that you pull off, and it sticks. I think the girl she pulled quite clever. See, I'm just putting it on and then shoving it up the pipe. So. I shall just crack on with it. Oh dear. Right, today is now Friday. We, uh, as you see yesterday, put on all the lagging that we bought. I bought 10 lengths of the 15 mil stuff, which wasn't enough. And I bought six lengths of the 22 mil stuff, which wasn't enough. So in a little while, it's now gone past two o'clock, so the shop's opening again. In a little while, we've got to pop back down to the shop, pick up a few more. Uh, 22, 15, and I want to get some large ones to cover where the pipes attach, uh, where like the blue fittings are. I think they do like 28 or something like that, so you know, if I have to join two of those together just to until you have to take those 
shower froze <coughs> um, last night but it's still, it's still it froze but obviously you can still run a little bit of water through it so uh, just had to run it for about a minute or so and it came, came back on but obviously not ideal so that's what we're going to be doing this afternoon uh, I will record that because uh, I didn't record saying on the floor because I ended up doing most of it so but I will do it today and I'll record up by the house where we're doing up by the house so fingers crossed by the end of today um, it should all be legged or at least where it needs to be legged and yeah it should all be good um, we did have water to the kitchen and to the toilet and places like that so whatever we did yesterday was working it went to minus four last night so you can see the sun's out today but it's still cold I think it's about one degree at the moment so I'm just waiting for Sam to get herself ready and then we'll be going to the shop so I'll catch up with you when I get back bye bye right we've lagged all of that was laid down at the house end. That's been lagged, but this bit of pipe hadn't been lagged. Ooh. That bit there. Is it there? Which then forced that off, and that was coming out of it. <laughs> I'm never gonna lag that. I'm hoping all the, the pipes that are close to the caravan won't freeze as they are um, near warmth, but I don't know. So, get on with it. This stuff's not the easiest of stuff to use. That's a bit, a bit of a pain. There you go. I don't know if you can see me on it. I'll just get my blood out. Put it up. Just use the sniffing. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's cold. Oh, it's an horrible. It's fine, it hasn't snowed yet. Uh, uh, uh. Try and help break the camera in. Do this at the same time. It's rather difficult.
Right, I've done that bit of lagging, managed to defrost the shower in the hand basin. Just trying to defrost the other car in there. Come and look for Lucy because I haven't seen her in a while. And I heard her bark. And I've been in the house, so I don't know whether she followed me in the house or she's locked in the house or, or what's going on. Lucy! Oh, I don't, know. don't need to be walking around in freezing cold. Lose. Lucy. 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 Further bark. Lucy! Uh, all this is lagged. I put the blue stuff to keep the pipe off the concrete so it doesn't um Lose! Let's go and have a look. Let's see if this nut has gone inside. Lucy, Lucy. What are you doing in here? You've been in here for ages. Nutter. <laughs> you nutter. You like you heard your bark. You've stuck in here forever. Well, at least till next time I have to come down here. You want that case loose? Good girl. <laughs> Must be freezing, bless. Oh dear. Silly girl. You silly. That's it, run around, warm up. <laughs> anyway, I think that's, that's it for this video. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for some more videos. I'm sure something else will happen in our life that will entertain you. Uh, have a good evening. One week to Christmas. Hope everybody's got their Christmas presents bought and purchased. <sighs> Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.